In today's video, I will show you the techniques required to create complex roofs inside of visual lighting. Our example today will be a hip roof on a T-shaped room, but the principles can be used for other roof shapes. I've already drawn our T-shaped room using the Polygon Room tool. The flat ceiling of the room is at 10 feet. We will be replacing the flat ceiling with a new hip ceiling with a peak height of 16 feet. Selecting the Explode command from the Modify tab, I will left click to select the room and right click to explode the room into the component surfaces. Next I'll select Erase. Then I'll pick the ceiling surface by left clicking the edge. Right click to remove the ceiling. I can confirm it's removed by changing the display mode to shaded. Now I'm going to add construction lines to guide the creation of the hip roof. To help with our drawing, turn on the endpoint and midpoint object snaps. I will select the line command and then select the midpoint of the top of the wall. Then using relative coordinates in the command line, I will type in the at symbol, then 0, 0, 6 to add a vertex 6 feet above the base point. Right click to end the line command. Next I'll select copy then left click on the line and then right click to complete the selection. I'm going to left click at the bottom of the existing line to set that as the base point. Now I will left click on the midpoint of each wall segment to place the line there. To copy the construction lines across to the long wall, I will select the copy command again. I'll select the line segment and then right click to complete the selection. I will select the wall corner as the baseline and then the opposite corner as the destination. I'm going to repeat this on the other side. To get the location of the hip, we connect the tops of the construction lines with the horizontal line. Now the hip is located at the midpoint of the horizontal lines. To create the ceiling surfaces, select the polygonal surface command. Change the reflectance to 80%. Starting on an end slope, Select the three corner points by left clicking. Right click to close the shape. We can right click again to start the last command. Now I will select the four corner points of the next slope. Each surface must be planar so I will need to create a new surface for each slope of the roof.
We can change the display mode to verify that all surfaces have been added. Using construction lines to set up snap points is a powerful modeling technique that will allow you to build the most complex shapes within Visual. Remember to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of new instructional videos. And if you have any questions or comments, please contact us at support at visual-3d.com.